Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be the second match of the evening here. It's VP and Envy playing on Dust 2 for the ESL ESCA Pro League. So, um, what do you think, Samla? Going to be a good game, this one? Oh, yeah, dude. You excited? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I reckon it will be, too. Um, I mean, it took a little bit of time to get everyone on the server. So, um, maybe just people... a little late. Yeah, Sorry, people guys. doing a last-minute warm-up there. Not sure what that's about. Well, but uh, I think it's worth the wait. So it's a reminder of how it used to be, you know, of days past, Andrews, when, you know, you just could assume a CS match wouldn't start until 15, 20 minutes after the hour. Yeah, I mean, uh, when we were doing, like, a lot of streaming from, from, from home, I was always controlled the countdown, and I always set it, like, at, you know, like, the hour and then another 10 minutes. I just always set the countdown 10 minutes, like, past, guys, for there's no reason to try and start the stream on time. And then it would happen, like, once in a blue moon where it would actually start on time. Yeah. And would be like, what? And then people would show up and chat and be like, what? the game's already live? Like, what's going on? Yeah, on. I can't believe it. Like, what's going like, on? It's yet? just a natural thing to show up 10 minutes late for a CS game, at least. Yeah. But, you know, guys, it's all good. You know, enough of the strolling down memory lane. I mean, we can have a short stroll the last time these two teams faced. Yeah. In ESL ESCA, and NV won mm. on train. So, on all train these teams well. are going to face each other twice in the group phase. So, NV have already got that one up on VP right now, where they're, they're sitting one over versus these guys. It's a very important second map here, because VP definitely want to get it to a 1-1. They don't want NV to have that hanging over their heads, where they've been beaten twice by this team. No, of course not. And, I mean, actually, for the map, it's a map that NV like playing and are, and are decent at playing, whereas... Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. It's just on. like, especially for the map, and then I look over at your monitor, you've got a map of Frankfurt or something <laughs> open on yeah. your monitor. They're not going to be playing, like, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I do okay, have a different not... map. <laughs> What the? What is that? I just noticed it. It's um. <laughs> I've been trying desperately to buy a certain piece of uh, of like a certain gadget for a long time. Now I'm looking for like German shops who might sell it so I can go and buy it. Because the actual retailer site is like taking forever to send it to me, and I'm dying slowly. So. Okay, okay. I get very impatient. I am like a child at heart. If I if I want something, then I, I spend like weeks obsessing about it and all I can think of when I finally click it, I spend every second refreshing the page until I can actually get it. So like uh -huh. it starts shipping. So I, I can't like control myself. You're just a sense. child of this generation, and that's all, you know, instant gratification. That's what it's yeah, all about. You know? I can't help myself. But look, um, VP, for some reason, like there was definitely a time when VP were one of the best teams in the world at playing Dust 2. Then they lost a couple of games and stopped playing it all together. They just like vetoed it out every tournament. True. Um, I don't think they need to. I think they're still a very good team on this map, but um, they themselves apparently have a different opinion. Well, they've been looking pretty good uh, lately, at least, Virtus Pro. Uh, I guess like the, all the talk was the other day was like, when they had that uh, that show match, I guess is what we're calling it, the match versus Na'Vi, and they kind of just creamed Na'Vi, and I was thinking that Na'Vi would be able, be able to put up a little bit more of a fight. Uh, Snacks just went ham and started really laying into him, and then it was all kind of downhill from there. So hopefully hopefully VP can show us that kind of level right now where they're going to be able to actually you know go up against Envy, who were looking shaky yesterday. We've got to remind everybody that Envy lost to Penta yesterday on Overpass. Might have been an off map, but um, you know that does make you wonder a little bit just where they are right now. Happy is here, and Kenny's picking up a headshot. Happy got one as well, but he's going to get shut down by Neo. And now VP, are they going to continue this fight? That seems like an insane choice at this point. It took them so long to take control along that now there's another three people here for Envy set up. So I feel like VP should probably take the time to fall back. And I think that finally dawned on them as well. Uh, if you get instant kills on long, it may be worth it to keep pushing. And even then, actually, it might not be. But if you take a, like, a 5, 10 second fight over there, Mm -hmm. The rotation is going to be happening already. Now they're rotating back here, which is, uh, I think, going to be somewhat obvious for Envy, even if they're not holding the bomb site here. They've got the man advantage. They could go for a retake. To me, that just spoke of, like, bravery on Virtus Pro's part. Bravery and stubbornness, put it that way. They're just like, you know what? This is going to settle who has the momentum. We aren't going to back off. We're going to break you. And somehow Envy, they, we they weathered that storm. So Virtus Pro were the first team to actually break in that game of chicken. And now, well, they've lost another man to Kiyoshima. NBK finds the headshot on Snacks as he tries to jump up on Headshot Box. And it's going to be Taz now just trying to work his way up onto the A site where Kenny is low. And he takes out Apex as well. Oh. But he doesn't spot Kenny going for a peekaboo on the site itself. And so Envy, they pick up the pistol. Yeah, it seemed like that was going to happen there. I mean, just slowly being whittled down, and I don't know. I feel like they took too long over at long to, to mm. figure out what was going on there. So a good start for the Frenchman here. 1-0, and oh, and second round coming up. We'll see they could do Tech 9 a little bit here, a Deagle, like some, some pretty mixed pistols in the, in, the, in the VP team here. 
Neo fully invests. Snacks is only on the P250, and he eats a 98 damage nade. So that sucks. Pasta is going to get taken out by Kiyoshima, and Kiyoshima still alive on this B site. A little bit of the, just the spray through. There are still two players holding on the B site itself. Invertus Pro right now. They're just trying to find a way in, but they've lost two guys. Bomb isn't even there yet, and it's been dropped in mid. So even if they get control of the B site, it isn't going to do anything for Virtus Pro. They're just doing some, excuse me, they're just doing some damage, which is always nice, but they have no way of winning the round. Viali uh, is going to be going down as well. So two kills like that, no bomb plant might not have been exactly what VP were looking for. They managed to do a little bit of damage at least to the CT lineup. So I mean, something is gained. See what the, what happens here. I mean, it shouldn't be too much of an investment. Maybe. Buy Ali could buy a little bit and yeah, snacks a little bit there, but nothing too much. I do like the investment in a couple of flashbangs there. I think that's a good idea. Yes, I'm wondering uh, then, Virtus Pro, they're probably not going to be relying on an AWP in the first round or in the first buy round. None of them are really saving for it unless they do something weird like Biali dropping it for somebody, but that doesn't make sense. So, Virtus Pro, this kind of makes you think it's going to be straight rifles and straight aggression. We've seen nothing but that from them so far, at least. Again, they're gathered up all in mid right now. And it seems like they kind of got stuck, like they didn't want to try and push through the doors. Ooh, happy. He did get dinked, otherwise that could have been a much better position for him. Kenny, though, up on Catwalk still. Just a Tech-9 to lose if they come a little bit too close, and Asher will take him out, and MBK over it along. So Envy losing a couple of members here, but still a very comfortable position for them to be in. Apex coming up from behind, and they actually lined up for him. Like, let's finish this quick, Apex. Nice triple. Three players keep surviving here for Envy, so they're going to be in a very good situation economically, at least. MP7s, I mean, everybody's been getting kills with the SMGs as well, so they get a bit of bonus money there. Shouldn't be a problem to upgrade to rifles right off the bat. We have the AWP for Kenny, and sure enough, no AWP picked up for Virtus Pro. Nothing but AKs, and a good nade count, actually, but nothing but AKs across the board, so it's definitely making you think they want to go in aggressive somewhere and really take the fight to Team Envy right off the bat, and we're seeing that out long already. Oh, MBK, good opening frag here. See if they can get the refrag. It's Bialy picking up MBK. Now, Happy's down here very much alone. He's got back up over at the ramp, but is it going to be quite enough, Bialy? Did he see the grenade? He definitely did, and they're not turning around for it. Bialy going to get the kill, but Kenny also picks up Snacks, who was actually past, you know, already ran past Happy there, so a really odd situation. And Kiyoshima, well, MP7 and CZ 75 in a one on three, not exactly the best tools for the job here. Yeah, and he has to know that somebody's close with the angle of that HE. So he's just waiting patiently to see if Pasha is going to be the one to take the risk to go for the peek around the smoke. Pasha playing with that smoke, though, doing a pretty good job. There's the flash. Pretty effective, all things considered. And Kiyoshima not able to actually get the kill in the end. Pasha survives with 30 HP. But most importantly, VP, they get a free AWP out of Kenny. And they keep three players alive at the end of that round. So that was a very strong start for Virtus Pro. Didn't really feel... Uh, well, I mean, it was a little chaotic with what happened over at Long, that's for sure, but it was still a very blunt approach by Virtus Pro. YOLO out on Long, take control of it, and then they just never really let up the pressure on the A site from there. Yeah, and Envy ended up in, I think, a couple of positions there where they couldn't easily help each other out, so they all ended up fighting very much alone, which is not what you want to do. NBK goes down and happy, and the rest can't really do much to help him, so they're just going to fall back. I'm not sure what the reason is why Envy are playing this way, because that's pretty much how the last round started, and... It uh, ended up being very bad for them indeed. Neo alone in the middle here with just an AWP and a pistol. So if they rush him, he could definitely end up going down quick. And they're up on catwalk as well. Neo is in an awful spot. Kenny is right next to him. Kenny doesn't know that Neo's alone here. Shot fired and he's thinking there must be someone else here. But it's going to be instant death there. And that's a really big refrag. That's a big kill. And then right there. Oh, we miss it though. But there was a bit of an opportunity. Exactly. Happy. Spots out Pasha. That was a key frag. Taz is going to go charging right up A slope, and they know he's close now, but Happy's holding on the other side of the box. He's got help from Gandalf as well. That's Kenny S providing support. Molotov goes down, though, so Kenny's going to be forced out into the open, but he gets the kill anyway, and Kenny with the double. In the end, triple at the end of the round, but double holding off that push onto the site. VP this time just gets slapped. Put us in the sixth round here, and that kind of victory is really going to hurt VP. A bit of a, a bit of a letdown, picking up a good round like that, starting off the round following really good as well. I mean, the way the MBK just kind of gets shut down over there, it seems to be that that should be the the start. But Neo alone in the middle, and the follow up just uh, too much for VP to handle. So back to pistols for Virtus Pro. 
Seemed like NBK yesterday, last round at least. Like the round before it, he was really counting on those flashes to just keep him alive, which is why we saw him wait so long to turn around to face house. He's waiting for the flashes to come in from his teammate. Just wasn't effective. The round before that, it was effective. Just so happens that this time, VP changed up the timing a little bit. But in this round here, we should be... Well, it should be pretty straightforward, pretty clean cut. It looks like VP, for now at least, are interested on in just pushing up Cat once this smoke clears up. Happy. Ready and waiting for it. Flash to allow him to peek through, but he's a lot of, there's a lot of targets around this corner. He's got to be really careful. He goes down. Just way too many people there. Kenny also wondering where exactly he wants to position himself. He's got to be careful. He's got no head armor. So these pistols, or even the M4, one dink and he's going to be gone. And he's way out in the open. He gets one kill here, but there's a lot more coming. Kenny picking up three, four, all headshots. And now Neo going to go down to NBK. What a beautiful way to end the round. Even though I do really disagree with his positioning, but um, he was still, out there. It worked really well. Oh, that's that moment where it's like the moment of bravery, right, from Kenny, where it's just like, okay, I actually just have to sit here and tap and pray and hope that I'm going to be able to get back behind the boxes. He does that and he plays the angle well, but the initial one right there, if they had just gang rushed him, if Virtus Pro just rushed out onto Cat at that point, Kenny, yeah. he wouldn't have stood a chance. So a moment's hesitation there on Virtus Pro's uh, part actually cost them quite a lot. Well, Neo kind of peeking around over here with a scout on the other side, but BP, they need a way back in, and apparently walking up middle is going to be it. Apex is going to have a lot of targets around. This is not going to be easy. He's already tagged up and tries to go for the fight again, but Taz will win it, and he's going to end up going down, and that's the exactly the opening that they were looking for. And down on long, Neo picks up NBK. He's really not had a good time down there, NBK, uh, on long, so... Maybe they found a bit of a weak uh, spot in the defense, and that's going to be Neo and Pasha going down on the bomb being dropped on the box as well. Disaster strike snacks. If he picks it up, I bet he's going to try and throw it up. He's not going to run a run around. Yeah, there's a the deep flash into CT right there. Full flash onto Happy. Happy, not going to be able to get that spray. Well played there by Virtus Pro, working together to recover that bomb, actually remove Happy from up close. And now it's going to come down to Kiyoshima again. So last time he was alone like this. He wasn't able to pull it off, and this time he doesn't know that Taz is at his back either. But at least some damage has been dealt to Virtus Pro already. So Taz is low as we can see. Snacks down to 28, Bialy down to 60. I mean, this is feasible, but he's hit the shot so quickly here. Yeah, he just doesn't have the info. He doesn't know, so he's going to play it safe and back off to get that AK. Basically, hold on to that AK for the next round. Yeah, so a really good round from VP, picking up that kill in the middle. They had three people there, and as soon as Apex went down, it. Uh it kind of uh, it kind of just escalated quickly from there. And then Neo winning the fight on long. I mean, those two kills right there set it up nicely. So that doesn't even involve like a sort of a, a deep level of strategy or anything from the VP point of view. They just they just get two entry kills on either side of the map. And it's very hard for Envy to try and pick it up after that. Yeah. And you're talking about not trying to carry over results from one day to the next. But I mean, yeah. uh, you know, Apex yesterday was pretty lackluster versus Penta. So I mean... We need to see him kind of step up his level. I mean, a kill like that with Taz flashed, you know, and you you wouldn't expect Apex to miss that kind of spray. No, it's To miss true. that kind of shot. So, hoping that he's going to be able to stabilize his level at least a little bit here. Kenny on 12, 1, and 3 right yeah. now, though. It gives you some, some, some nice, uh, nice flashbacks, doesn't it? The Kenny of old, yeah. He's still out there somewhere. Well, some a lot of defensive grenades, in fact, put out by Envy, just trying to make sure that no one's being rushed down anywhere. Kenny standing in the fire for just a little bit. Still, uh, not a lot of head armor head being purchased. It doesn't really matter right now. Bialy going to pick up a headshot on Apex and Happy. Looking for the spray through. It's actually going to be taking down Pasha. He walked right into that bullet. They all have AKs on the VP side, so head armor is not a big deal on Envy right now. Nice shot from MBK in the middle. That's going to shut down Snacks, and Neo goes down as well. And this is looking great for Envy. What in the nine hells is going on right now, Anders? NBK, that should not have been possible. And there it is. Happy finds the kill onto Bialy. Taz not going to be able to take out Kiyoshima. Everybody getting a piece of the action this time around. Happy with two kills as well. Apex the only one who's left out of the party. But NBK, that kill in mid? What the hell? Just like runs up and dinks him. Yeah, that looked really smooth. Just uh, no issue at all. And it's going to be resetting, or at least almost resetting the VP economy. They're going to go for it anyway here. They're realizing that right now Envy are taking control of the match and they're being allowed to play the kind of game that they want to play. So let's try and see if we can't switch that up. It's a bit of a stack in middle, a boost going on there to try and look up a catwalk. And Apex this is a very forward position. Just making noise and running up there. Not afraid to... Uh, let people know where he is. Jesus. 
And they're doing this because they think that this is a full eco out of Virtus Pro. Maybe just a quasi buy. Now they realize, of course, that this is a force and that they're dealing with some Kevlar here. They're actually dealing with some upgraded rifles. It's not going to matter in the end when Happy gets three kills. Two for Kiyoshima up in Upper Dark, but... That was definitely a scare, I think, for Happy, for, or for Apex, rather. He's running up thinking, I'm just going to have to run, you know, it's just going to be P250. As long as I tag him, I'll be fine. And it's like, oh no, they have Kevlar, they have CZs, they have Tech Nines. I'm actually in a pretty deep spot. If they have lost that, they would have lost the B bomb site, and who knows what could have happened. So definitely an opening. What, 7 2? I mean, NV are playing really well at the moment, and VP, that was their force up round. You know, they, they could have saved and, and tried to get a really good buy in this round. Instead, they wanted to have a a way to turn the game around, and that has resulted in a heavy eco here, just like a couple of pistols and that's it. Not uh, looking too good right now for the Polish squad. I'm wondering if how, just how aggressive Happy's gonna get. He's waiting up on Catwalk right now. Just a little bit of a nade lob. Neo down to 8 HP, so that's not too pleasant. Bialy gets caught out by Apex in the end. And right now, Virtus Pro, they aren't really achieving too much in this round. Apex gets headshot and he's just gonna back off. So no need for him to actually go peeking again. And Happy, though, he's going to get spotted. Goes for the follow-up spray. Nearly. Oh, he's not actually going to get this, will he? Yes, he will, actually, in the end. But I thought for a second there he'd get caught reloading. It was close as well. Not close enough. Neo down and under pass. Oh, sorry, in lower dark. Looking for the shot. And Happy will end up taking him out. So three kills for Happy. He has been doing uh, quite a good job. He seems to be fired up. And he's at 15 kills and six deaths, Kenny at uh, three and thir and so 13 and three right now. So we'll see if VP can bring this back. I feel like if they can win the last of the rounds here and make it eight, seven, there's definitely a chance for it. They don't have the money for an AWP though. And we'll see if the AK approach is gonna be working out for them. Make the cross and the boost in again. Just trying to control that catwalk and the defense over at long, which didn't work too well a couple of times for Envy. They've kind of let go of that. They say, all right, fine. If we're not going to win the battle at long, let's just control middle and B, and it'll be fine. Yeah, I guess it's just also once Kenny has that op, he can just sit up on the site, as we can see here. Just playing from the site, watching, and that was a beautiful peek there by Apex. Pasha just completely obliterated, and then, of course, the stack in mid. And they even still hang around here. This is just confidence on Happy's part. He's willing to just sit here, take this battle. Three people in the middle for Envy. Still hanging around there. Apex going down. Taz winning that fight with the AK and Happy's playing very close to the doors. He spots one and actually reveals his position doing so. Neo's up on the box. He should know. And he will be able to get the frag there. So maybe Happy a little bit too eager to take that fight now. Pushing up a dark right now is Kiyoshima and that could be a big play. And NBK gets flashed, but he's still going to be right on the edge of this smoke. Kiyoshima, of course, going straight for the jump to see if anybody pushed out behind it, trying to take advantage of that flash, and NBK is going to spot the first man. Can't readjust his spray in time, though. Won't be able to actually pick up a kill on Taz, but Kiyoshima, he's out window, and he's actually willing to take that fight. Taz down to 6 HP, carrying that bomb. Smoke goes down and told on by Ali. One versus two, and he's going to get sprayed down by Kiyoshima, defending that B-bomb site very well indeed, and putting Envy at 9-2. This is just a complete slaughter right now. VP again going to have to, well, maybe they could buy him a little bit here and just try and go for some Tech Nines in a little bit, but it's still going to be tricky. I can't believe that uh, that the skill, I mean, the, the, the gap is so big right here. I feel like right now Envy are running away with the game. Yeah, I do as well. And and this kind of comes back to how Virtus Pro, they don't really, it doesn't really seem like there's too much going on for them on this map. Apart from rounds where it's just like, we're going to run out into a barbecue. But, you know, we're going to run out and try and control this one zone. And then we just, everything seems to fall into place for us where we constantly win these duels. We aren't really seeing anything too subtle from them. It's very brute force tactics being used here by VP. Oh. One bullet left for Apex in case there was a third guy coming and it was ready for it. Still a pretty good job. I mean... Yeah, I, th I feel like they they have been in a position where they could have they could have tried to get a lot more fights out of Envy because Envy is a team that will let you have those aim fights anyway. Um, so they they could have probably tried for that nice shot from Pasha, taking down Apex. Mm, yeah, two guys sit, uh, on Envy have nine thousand in the bank though. And most of them are sitting pretty comfortably as well. This is a perfect anti eco round for Envy. Just drop Apex, but you have more than enough money to get him equipped, drop him a rifle, and the rest of your guys, they're just going to keep keep on building that bank. I mean, Virtus Pro have three rounds left in this half to get something done, and Envy don't look like they're going to be ecoing unless they were to lose the next two. And look at the response from VP. It's a double up setup. Neo and Snacks picking up one each, and uh, maybe this should have happened way earlier. They had a force round. If they hadn't had that, maybe they could have they could have gone for these orps earlier on. See if it's going to make a difference or not. I mean, Neo opping is certainly no joke, and we've seen Snacks. 
uh, with some pretty good results in the past as well. They're trying to control B here. Early peek into it. Kiyoshima and Apex not really willing to give up any kind of frag there. Yeah, that's the whole point of them going over there. They keep going for those aggressive pushes. This time it's NBK who gets caught out on long. That's a great opening there by Pasha. Kenny nearly gets the timing right, though. That could have been huge taking out Neo, but instead he's going to try and hunt for Pasha. He's going to find him as well. Brings it back to a 4 on 4, but then VP have already changed up their angle. They're going out through mid into B, and they're going to be able to catch two guys out of position here in CT. Oh, but Neo goes down. A bit of a let go there, and Apex will fall eventually by Ali. But this spot, a lot of time for enemy to figure out what they want to do. And VP are slowing down their play once again here inside the bomb site. Kiyoshima is going to be very much alone while Happy and Kenny are holding over at that A side of the map. 45 seconds left now to try and see if they can make their way in. And Kiyoshima, he's out of grenades though, and they do have still an HG on Taz if they want to try and see if they could flush him out from somewhere. A lot is going to come down to how Kiyoshima plays this. Looking for the early headshot here. They do line up for him. He's going to get the one on Snacks. He did a lot of damage to Taz as well. He goes down to Bayali. There's still a good two versus two here for Envy. They can definitely win this round. Yeah, especially with how low they are on VP side. 30 HP on uh, Taz, 13 on Bayali. They are going to have the crossfire, though. They are going to have the crossfire VP. And now if Envy, they have a single decoy and an incendiary. Incendiary would be fantastic. Or you just walk up and headshot him. Oh, wow. Okay, wow. well then, Kenny. Yeah. <laughs> you are I'm, I'm, start, I'm starting to think like, okay, well, they can clear out one angle with this incendiary and then not have to worry about it, blah, blah, blah. And then Kenny's just like, you know what? Too much talk. Time for action. Yeah, I agree, though. That incendiary could have, if, if not for Kenny, that could have definitely done uh, a lot there. 11 and 2. I mean, we keep bringing up this fact that the, the, the round score is a really big thing in this league because it, it's ultimately what decides the, the ties. But... Mm -hmm. Uh, right now, it seems like all the games we're having are just, you know, really, really heavily one-sided games. So, good shot from Snacks there to drop Kiyoshima low already. You know, it's, really, it's like even between Tier 1 teams, that's what's crazy. Yeah. You kind of expect this to be a bit more of a, I mean, obviously we're not done yet. And we shouldn't get ahead of ourselves because of how weak Envy's T-side was yesterday. But um, but still, you know, it's you do expect a bit more of a battle out of Virtus Pro. They keep managing to pick off NBK, though, over on Long, and that's a great... I mean, that's a great advantage that Virtus Pro keep finding in these rounds. Now you just kind of want to see them build on that. Oh no, and Happy timing couldn't be worse. <laughs> Turns away just as Bialy goes up cat. So here we go, a round, and, but again, it feels like this is like the round for VP to win, or, or the rounds that they have won and the half have gone like this, where it's like they get one pick and then they just kind of, they kind of just keep that pressure up, they keep getting picks, and then, you know, everything kind of just falls apart. It isn't anything really subtle, it's just Virtus Pro kind of running all over the place and catching Envy out once that first pick happens. I mean, you can't base your entire Dust 2 T side on on finding two opening frags every round. You need you need just a little bit more than that. So maybe maybe VP just haven't put enough work into it. Like we've been saying, they 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 tend to veto this map whenever they get a chance to. So um, maybe there's a reason for it. Double up set up on the Envy side here for the 15th round, investing as much as they can into it. And VP still got snacks playing that up, and everyone else on an AK. So we'll see how far this can take them. Apex should be a weapon on the ground. There we go. Flash. Old Smith flashes. Timing is there. And there's the shot. Happy a two for one? Oh, oh wow. no. Neo and Pasha both gone. And Happy's still looking for more. Of course he's confident after that. They were both flashed as well, Anders. They never saw it coming. I don't know what to say. I mean, that's not how you want to start a round. Happy picking up three kills in the middle before he gets shut down. Taz and Snacks are left, but... I'm not sure what they could really do at this point here. It's got plenty of time, so if Envy start rushing at them, you know, that's going to give an opening, but it seems like Envy are playing it fairly slow at the moment. Now they, now they can take all the time in the world. Still a minute left on this clock for VP. Snacks and Taz still pretty well equipped. They're going to go out long, and they're going to see if they can't find that battle with whoever's holding on the A site. This isn't too shabby a situation here for Virtus Pro. G considering Kenny at least is playing from CT, he's not up on the side as he usually is. Just gonna be waiting, but it seems like, you know, Envy are content to just sit and wait. As soon as that smoke goes down a block off CT, it's not gonna be too much of an issue for them. They still have so many nades to make this uh, to make this retake possible. MBK getting closer. Kiyoshima actually gonna catch Taz running across and now snacks. 30 seconds here. In a one versus four. Nice shot on the first guy, but it's not going to help him. Kenny being a little bit too close. 12 and three in favor of Envy. Completely one-sided first half there. Just uh, not not a lot of uh, 
a lot of flex being shown by by BP. I feel like. No, no. I guess this is like the theme of the day, right? I feel like they, once they get the entries, they slow down their play at like the wrong point in time, basically. Like rather than having the entries work to force Envy to rotate around the map so that they can sort of exploit some weak point. They get an entry somewhere and then they slow down the play so much that, that Envy have tons of time to get into a good position and then they just win all the subsequent fights. So I, I kind of like feel like the VP's timing for when they wanted to be aggressive was just off in like a really weird way, which is usually not what we see from the Polish team. Usually they, they kind of, they end up hitting some really good timings, but um, not so much this time. Oh yeah, there's NDK with what the What the hell is that? Yeah. Must be a miss by. Can't mm. imagine him wanting to pick up a Zeus over Kevlar or something useful. Especially on T side. I mean, I can see how that works. But like CT side at least here is going to come down a lot more to, it's not luck per se, but you know, you can go for those aggressive kinds of pushes up mid, etc. But a lot of it is going to come down to your aim, right? And VP, they certainly have that. And considering Envy have been showing uh, just a little weakness on their T side recently, it's so important now for Envy, I think, to pick up this pistol. Because if this turns into a grind, it's going to be really difficult for them. I could see VP running it back. Oh, he actually hit that shot on Happy. He's down to nine. That's so ridiculous. Yeah, we, we need that in slow motion, I feel like. That was very cool. But they're still spotting in mid, so you can't actually rotate through T-spawn right now. Snax is just going to keep spotting out all this information, yeah. Or he's going to get tagged down by NBK long range. That works too. That's a bit of a shame for Snacks by Ali now, almost exposing himself. Got the knife out instead of the pistol there. And Pasha trying to reload, but the Glock train is coming in. It's NBK leading the charge, getting another kill in the pistol round. About time that NBK showed up in this fight, and that's uh, really, really bad news for uh, VP. By Ali trying to take this fight, he downs one. NBK and Kenny both got nice headshots, and Neo coming in to help out. The bomb has dropped as well in 19 seconds. No time at all here for error. Apex is low, Happy down to 9 HP, Happy trying to draw attention, and Apex, he finds Neo out of position, but Bialy's still alive on the site, camping this bomb, and with 10 seconds left, there just isn't time here for Envy, especially now that Happy gets spotted out on Catwalk, he actually needs to die, he's just hoping for that, and Taz will oblige, but for a second there, Taz could have been really cheeky, for a yeah. second there, Taz could have just been like, ah, well, three seconds left, we'll just let you die, and or we'll let the clock run out, and then kill you when you're not going to get any bonus money. I feel like that was uh, that should have been the thing though. Like they should have definitely let let the clock run out there. They I mean, were, it's dangerous. But well, they were definitely not counting on having snacks just sitting here in mid this entire time though. <sighs> I mean, Happy jumps back, but then they all run back on Envy side, and they all run back through T spawns. So it's like snacks just chilling. Like, okay, well they're on the A side of the map now. Sees the bomb, sees everything. Well, a good win for VP, a much needed one if they want to make some sort of comeback. It has to start like this, Neo. Taking a fight in the middle, Scout versus Scout, but they're getting close, and Neo shut down with a Deagle. I mean, Envy, this is so simple. They're just letting Happy take all the attention away, mm -hmm. Scout versus Scout fight, and then they interrupt it with a bit of a Deagle action there. So, um, pretty good job on Envy. And, and BK shutting down Snacks. Deagle headshot, why not? Taz trying to hide in that corner as the P90 smoke is going up. Is he going to lose patience here? They're right around the corner. No, he still hears him, but he hasn't given away his position yet. And we still have no idea that a man is holding close and Snake. And well, Pasha, he actually switches over to Burst. Come on, Pasha. This isn't like Source or anything here. Oh, tagged up a little bit. Yeah, he's still ready for it. Is he going to try him for the jump burst shot? A kind of a rarity, but the FAMAS goes for it once, but switches back again and goes down at Apex. That Deagle is still so lethal. Now Bialy coming in, MP7 and hat, but he goes down. The headshot, just too much to handle, and Taz going to end up trying to escape here. I mean, Envy, this is their thing though, isn't it? The follow-up pistol round. The Deagle, the Deagle is just getting so ridiculously strong, isn't it? Apex, three kills, NBK, one, all of those Deags. And it just it seems like you're seeing a Deagle Ace on Reddit every every day now these days. I mean, these guys are getting real proficient. And, well, Taz has been thoroughly boxed in. They know that he's playing from lower. Kenny's still looking for that angle. Taz hoping to close the distance, get really close with that P90 so he can just spray a bunch of bullets. Not made. For, that gun isn't made for a long-distance fight. Terrorists win. And he... Ah, oh, oh, there he is. And Taz actually finds the headshot. Does he live, though? Seems like he barely does, which is, you know, like a little bit of a silver lining, but I wouldn't be too excited. I mean, it's still 13 to 4 here. 
Envy going with the double scout. AK as well that they picked up. And uh, we'll see if they can get a little bit more in. They're not too worried about buying here, though. Like, they're not investing heavily. Just whatever they can get. Snacks being tacked up already. They correctly predict that VP won't have too much money here. Yeah, VP are the ones going for the long game. They could have gone for a force buy here and really risked it, risked it all, but they still have the option to go for a force in the next round if they want. And that will be when Envy get up to 14 rounds, unless they can come up with something magical here, VP. We should be seeing Envy just kind of crush their way through on this round and get into that crucial next one. But they didn't go rushing anywhere. Envy, they're still trying to suss out uh, any kind of information they can get on the defense. And playing off a of Taz, baby. Taz triples, I mean, it's the three stack up on Cat, and he actually starts off strong. And BK with a refrag on Snacks and finally Honey by the stairwell here. The USP has just not a good weapon for that kind of fight. P250 or 5.7 or anything else really would have been preferable. One health on Snacks and Pasha. A little bit out of position as well. He actually gets the kill there ridiculously on Apex and the bomb should be going down at any second here for Kenny. So still a good position and Happy getting a shot in. Pistol kill as well and he'll finish off the round so... I know Happy's just having a really good game right now, personally. 14 to 4. And Happy's at 24 kills, 19 on Kenny, so. Yeah. It's one of those days. Now, let's see. Neo just goes for a glass cannon M4A1. How? Yeah, they can't afford anything. Pasha literally has to go for a FAMAS Kevlar. I'm surprised that Pasha doesn't actually just skip the helmet to get a nade or something to work with. Nice shot by Happy. Snacks, no joy. And well, then it's just the straight YOLO rush here coming in from Envy. No respect at all. They're going to go blasting onto this B site, and Taz is the only one here to hold. Too many targets for him, though. He's going to get completely swamped. Yeah, that kind of angle is not an angle you can really have anymore. I mean, at 1.6, to hold angles that were like that was really good because you could you would get like the, the, the tagging in, and people would slow down enough that you could, you could spray down three people like that. But in, in Global Offensive, it's really hard to hold an angle like that. Who's hiding in the smoke behind him? It's Pasha. Apex has no idea. You're going to make a little bit of noise. Pasha decides to walk up behind him. Nicer movement by Pasha in the smoke. But he still goes down. Happy there to pick up the kill. A triple for him as well. And closing on the 30 kills right now. Bayali is going to be alone trying to hold on to this M4A4. No, any steps. So they know. But he just might make it back to pit here in time. And I think he will. He will live. So at least they have an M4 to work with next round versus Pro. At least they've got that going for them. But right now, this is looking like a total and utter stomp down here for Team Envy. And they, this is just what they needed when, after that loss versus Penta last night. Make up a few more of those rounds. I mean, it was a close loss versus Penta, 16-12. So, I mean, they didn't lose too much in the round difference. But they definitely need to be working on a little bit more of a buffer, considering as far as the top teams are concerned, they're still really far behind TSM and Fnatic. They haven't had as many decisive wins. So let's see, Taz is trying to start things off here. He's got that flash to stop a rush onto the B site, but there are three players waiting in upper dark for him right now. Well, but the bomb isn't committed. The bomb is making its way back into T-spawn. Well, they're walking into B now. Taz is up here. Nice headshot. Snacks also with the scout going to be picking off Apex. So VP finally with a little bit of bite here. Kenny actually will get some good damage in there. Turns around for a bit more, which was a mistake as Taz will take him out. Kiyoshima and Happy are going to be left here. Hard to see how VP could make a fully 11 round comeback here into overtime. Yeah, uh, this is more about like those rounds that we were just talking about. We might have just cursed Envy, you know, just saying. But um, this is just about Virtus Pro making sure now that they, they grind out as many rounds as possible because every round counts. And Ver I mean, Envy learned their lesson against Virtus Pro in particular in what was it, Gfinity Summer or something like that? Gfinity Spring 2? Yeah. Where they didn't make it into the semifinals out of the groups because of a round difference loss where they actually slacked off versus Virtus Pro. And yeah, they ended for up it. having a bit too much fun, you're right. Nice grenade to chase down Happy there, but Kiyoshima gonna pick up a kill. Still a one versus two here. 23 seconds. He actually gets a headshot on Taz, and now Bayali is sneaking up from behind, but Kiyoshima. He's got the double, looking for the triple if he can. He's going to go for the bomb plant. Two flashbangs and an Ichi grenade. We'll see if it can work out here. Kiyoshima looking up there, getting the initial damage on, but he's very low himself. Peeks out, and Bayali gets the shot on him. So going to be the round win. Celebrating ridiculously with some stabs in the air. It's going to make it 15-5 to five here. Envy, I mean, they've got, they've got a lot of rope still left. Everybody's getting these shadow daggers as well, Anders. 
What's up with that? Are you feeling left out? I'm feeling I am. left out. I'm feeling like I might actually have to start looking for a pair. I don't have any shadow daggers. Nah. For my birthday, uh, well, no, it wasn't for my birthday. It was the other day. What was it again? For my birthday, I opened a bunch of cases, but then I also opened a bunch of cases, like shadow dagger cases. I just bought like 30 of them. And I'm like, I'm so, I'm really going to regret this, but. Did you regret it? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> Instantly. As soon as I hit buy, I was just like, yep, I, I already regret this. Sure enough. Uh, Gaben wasn't smiling on me that day. I love it. I've only ever, I, I got two, I've unboxed two knives. One of them was my Karambit, my clever girl. And I traded her away, sadly, which is also a really thing I regret. And then I got a got knife safari mesh, which was horrible. And oh. what, speaking of horrible, two entry frags here, three. As NBK picks up a kill, and it's just going to be now a two-on-four situation here for Furtis Pro. Well, Taz and Neo are left, and you're right. Some uh, some horrible regrets going on. Try to push catwalk like that. I mean, I like the switch up of style. I think it's it's not a bad idea to try and see if you can catch. Just generally, when you're this far behind, the the team that's ahead will expect you to play it very safely. So if you can throw in some aggression every once in a while, uh, might catch them off guard. But um, Envy was ready for it. Ended up boxing them in now. Taz and Neo are left, and Neo is very low on health. Taz might have to do this all on his own, basically. Mm, oh, Neo, no. oh man, he's making so much noise. Yeah, no joy there for Neo. And Taz, well, he is going to be the hero here. One v four. Apex is gone. He's stepping out, baits the shot from Happy, but Happy point blank gets the second one done. That was like the perfect play from Taz as well. You know, just like mm -hmm. you're right, he did bait the op shot out, and still. Couldn't quite pick up the win, so a little bit, a little bit strange there. How does Happy get that shot, Anders? I mean, that's literally like the split second as we touch the ground as well. But you say you've opened two knives ever, and I've only ever opened one, and it wasn't a knife, so. You know, <laughs> that's, that video True. is still out there on the YouTube somewhere, True. I think. Me yeah. like crying, basically. So. Valve, you know, they did cruel things to you, Anders. Yeah. We're never going to forgive them. No, oh, it's very sad, very sad. Well, look, ladies and gentlemen, that is uh, the second match only of the evening. We've got another four coming up, and these mm -hmm. just seem to get better and better, so you guys definitely have to stick around with us as well. If you have been missing any of the results uh, all throughout the tournament, here you can go and check them out at the Score Esports. You can also download the application on your iOS or Android device. There we go. Uh, so definitely go and do that. Um, you know, Pick up your smartphone and, and go and do that. Uh, also check out all the articles and stuff on that website. So a uh, mm -hmm. good, good place to hang out and uh, find out what's going on. If you're missing anything there is a lot of counter-strike coming up these days so generally speaking it's hard to keep up yeah there is a lot of yeah strike but um you know it's a good place to go and check guys so be sure you know uh check it out slasher yeah. works now there. what's the next game we have coming up i'm losing track here so uh um, so let me see because we have a i don't a know if i can trust this full now. evening oh yeah you're right it was a little bit off uh, earlier on so i'm gonna go over here i'm pretty to this sure other site that we're not gonna mention and it's uh nip Virtus pro it's oh. gonna be our next game all right and with how well nip have been playing recently so vp on, let's taking, find out which map vp taking a huge inferno. beating and uh, i guess that's good it's not another dust two game here so inferno between yeah. actually that's a map that vp yeah. played really well that could be a good game yeah this could be fun guys. should be a good game and that's in eight minutes or ten minutes we're, we're, we're Depending should on how we, quickly they're on the server. Should we just say, like, you know, 15 minutes to be safe? Yeah, <laughs> just to be safe. All right, guys. Well, Inferno coming up here, VP and NIP in about 10 minutes. So stay with us, and we'll be right back.